Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at none other than the Studio Series 86 Commander Class Optimus Prime figure. So there's so much to go through and with this video we're going to have a look at all the contents, we're going to have a look at him in both of his modes, we're going to do loads of comparisons with other Optimus Primes, new, old, masterpiece etc. We're going to have a look how the trailer works, the functionality on all the parts, where you can store the blast effects, comparisons with other trailers so new and old and of course then we're going to bring out a load of figures not just studio series 86 but a lot of different toy lines just to give you i suppose an idea of the scale and hopefully to show you how good this figure is so as i start to move everything out of the way i need to thank hasbro once again for this amazing opportunity to review this figure for you officially so i'm going to start off with looking at the box and i'm going to get it out of the way because it is huge you've got your huge commander class style box you've seen this lovely artwork all over the internet now for quite some time you've also got the ability obviously to do this amazing scene with the blast effects which i'll show you in a second i'll show you how everything fits in the trailer as well so there's an actual product image on the top which is really really good there of course is a lovely bit of artwork for optimus himself you've probably already checked out the transformation process videos on the channel already and you could see that he did take 40 steps but none of it i think is too difficult or indeed too intricate like some figures uh, masterpiece etc usually are so let's start off with just looking at the main figure himself and as i say for this first part we're going to do some first impressions and then we'll move on to the other sections after so again i mean look at him he genuinely does look exactly as he appeared in that cartoon and of course in the movie so no no issues i think at all with how he looks as i spin him around for you you can see that there are pretty much zero gaps i mean if you want to be super pedantic there's a few bits of things going on here which you can again eventually tell and you've probably seen in the transformation process cleverly loads of things do fold out of this i don't think it's too big i don't think it's you know it intrudes too much and again most importantly when he's standing there at the front you can hardly notice it which again i think is really really good now, i've seen a couple of people put some comments about that he should have some chrome um but then you'd just be i suppose copying the toy version and not of course the animated version so uh, although chrome obviously is nice i do love chrome it wouldn't work with obviously replicating how he looked in the cartoon right let's have a look at the head sculpt which again is great that will spin all the way around it will look Look up and down as well which is good i suppose if we want to be again more pedantic the only sort of thing that we might be missing is something to maybe move his mouth plate up and down but that's just i suppose uh, just me thinking out loud these do move on the side on the top on the side of his head but this is again mainly for transformation purposes the arms will go out you can have the full t like so which is great we can bring it down you've got these amazing intended let me just get this butterfly joint to work you can see they're spinning around it does it clicks in as well there's even more going on where you can swivel underneath the shoulder you've got bicep flexion you've got wrist rotation you've got finger articulation the three are joined the index finger is available to move around itself with its own articulation which seems to be a sort of commander class uh, standard thing now which again is great <clears throat> there is if i just lift up the arms there is of course uh, waist rotation which is great the hip skirts here which you can see these allow lots more range of motions if you wanted to you can kick him pretty far up to be honest and the same at the back these do move independently you can move these this will bring it all the way up which you can see there past the point of 90 now i'm not too sure oh, yes you can with this it just felt a little bit stiff so you can if you wanted to you can do full splits both ways i would think looking at this so legs all the way up there and then if we go out to the side as well yep you can see that you can do full splits either ways which is great uh, they're not ratchets obviously otherwise you would have heard that but they do feel really stiff really sturdy and i think it's going to take a lot of playing with this particular figure to get them loose you've got a swivel at the thigh you've got a knee bend which again doesn't leave huge holes there which is brilliant it'll kick all the way back up the toe itself will come all the way down you can go literally like that if you wanted to sort of put in balance in on something like so or indeed give it any other dynamic pose as well as the sort of tilting rocking etc as well so articulation wise pretty much second to none and again we're hearing lots of things like you know mass mainline masterpiece and in all honesty i think we've got to pretty much agree with it uh, again there's no translucent on the windows because we're going for the cartoon animation accurate look 
it just does. It just looks like he's fell off the screen, which is so, so good. Accessories wise, he does come packaged in robot mode, by the way, and he does come with his trailer like so. We've got Roller. We're going to have a bit more of a detailed look at him when I get him into proper alternate mode because I'm going to put the Titan Masters in, etc. We've got the Ion Blaster, which is brilliant. This is this one. This is the original Generation 1, one that has a bloated parts one, uh, but it's so, so good. Um, and this, of course, was the Earthrise one. So it's much, much bigger than that. Of course, I'm going to do quite a few Earthrise comparisons throughout the video. We've got the two completely new sort of blast effects, which again are great. We've also got the axe. Now, this, interestingly enough, is smaller than the missing link one. There's your missing link one. And I just thought I'd bring you uh, them two for comparisons, which is a little bit strange because, of course, the missing link Optimus Prime is only that big but still you know they're great and i just wanted to show you and perhaps show, make you aware that they're not the same so obviously they won't be universally used either and then these are the new things these are just again a bit of genius from the designers they do come in four so you've got to let's see there you go typically i thought i'd do that straight away get the wrong ones once you've lined these up like so that is, of course, how we're going. I'm going to show you this, of course, in more detail when we do get it into the alternate mode. What I want to do, though, is show you a couple of things on the trailer, because the trailer obviously used to be or was intentionally in use before he was a Transformer as a repair deck. Now, very quickly, uh, just, I suppose, just for some different colours, I've gone with the Nemesis Prime trailer, which is, of course, the same size as the Earthrise. You can clearly see there, there is a huge, huge difference in the trailer size in fact i've got a g1 here one as well it is even bigger than your generation one so we've got generation one you can't even see that i'm gonna have to lift the camera up but you yeah you can see how much bigger it is so the commander class is bigger than generation one and a lot lot bigger than the earthrise one right what i do really like about the new one though is again it's got the playability features that the other figures did have in fact i'll save these ones i'm going to show you this uh, for now so let's open this this comes open via there you can then take these four blast effects i say four because they do come in two pieces which you've seen these will fit in here like so i'm hoping they're going to rest like that well i've got it at an angle no of course they're not let's pop that there bring this up and then you can see that tabs into place like so and as i was mentioning before um in fact i've got one more trailer quickly to show you to compare it with so that's your diaclone powered convoy or more commonly if it was in the different colors would be your earth right not your earth rise your ultra magnus so again it's still bigger than that it's, it's the biggest trailer on a mainline figure i'm not including the masterpiece because obviously for mp4s trailer was huge right so let's have a look at this so we're going to open up this and as i say it's more like it well it was used as a repair deck which is brilliant this you can detach again i'm going to show you that in more detail when we get into the alternate mode i'm just going to show you the last few things with him on the first impressions before we go into more detail so this can come forward i'm going to need to adjust the camera again because we can't see so the repair bay drone i'm not sure if it's got a proper name it's got a hinge there a hinge there and a hinge there it can look up and down uh, there's no real pilots now it would be interesting i do not own any if you could put an actual diaclone pilot in there that would be very very interesting uh, but i don't own one so i can't do that unfortunately this will move up and down this can move again exactly like the original g1 on loads of different points of access and do the claws open as well yes they do which is great so of course as i say the main intended purpose for this would be for him to be fixing that right there just quickly i'm going to bring in the mp44 toy deco one so it's about the trailers as tall as that right let's have a very quick look again at how you can store some of the accessories again i want to be as detailed as possible and show you every single feature in this toy because it is an expensive toy i appreciate that but also i want to get across to you like i say when i review the japanese figures from g1 i know they're expensive etc but they are brilliant actual sort of toy play set so what you've got here you've got an indentation there and then you've got the side of the gun so this means you can fit this in there like so on the new blast effect so you can see we've got a circle there and then there's a little circle here and that should i've just missed it completely that will he says i'm not lining it up very well there you go it fits there and then of course you can pop them 
in that little part as well just to ensure that they stay straight because they are a bit flimsy they do tend to move around a little bit so that could be something that some people might nitpick at but i think it's perfect because i think obviously collectors and adults like myself are going to be getting this but because he's optimus prime i imagine we're going to get a younger set of fans buying these as well so the last thing they need is really sharp stubby um really sharp i suppose objects so you can see there that we can store everything oh just knocked that off i didn't push it in hard enough there is a little dowel at the top and can i line it up it's really difficult sometimes trying to line these things up around the camera because it doesn't look like it's in my natural plane so that natural line of sight there you go but i wanted to make sure that you could see that again this moves up so there we have even if you've got him in robot mode every single thing stored in with the trailer i think that's enough for first impressions don't worry about comparisons guys there's going to be loads of them coming up when we come to the part after this now which is where we're going to see him in his alternate mode okay then so we're back and he's in his alternate mode and again you've hopefully seen the transformation process videos already but i just want to reassure people as well that i've obviously just done it again and it's not daunting in any way there's a lot of steps but it is just really easy it just sort of all flows together really really well and in honesty it is quite fun which is what of course we like about transformers if the transformation process is fun now you can see there that the wheels roll absolutely no problem whatsoever it's all tucked away really really well there's a little gap there of course where the wheels have come out but you can't see that and it's not detrimental to the toy whatsoever now the smokestacks do spin around which i suppose can be a bit of a problem but they, they haven't come off in my experience i've done quite a few transformations with this now yes they're loose uh, but they don't come off as i say everything sort of comes together really really well in honesty the grill looks good the windows look good we've got quite funny maybe if there was a sticker or something you could put over there you know and see the reflection of the people as he's mowing them down in the um actual movie but that would just be a little bit of fun but it wouldn't surprise me if a third party company in fact did come around and do that so we're going to continue looking at doing some comparisons with that in a minute i just want to bring in this is the roller from here and this is a generation one roller uh, of course they came in blue and the original ones were silver with g1 so it's about the same size the wheels are plastic they're not rubber uh what i like about this of course you could put diaclone pilots in this we haven't got diaclone pilots but we've got the titan masters and indeed you can i've just double checked off screen but i wanted to make sure that i could do it uh, rather than struggle along not being able to do it you've just got to tuck the feet down get it to line up etc and you can pop the four little titan masters in here as i'm sure you've seen advertised which is quite good to be fair it's just another little play feature uh there isn't the launching mechanism which you get on the g1 trailers but i'm quite happy with that because it would have just endured more costs on the mold and it's something that of course was never really used it's especially not in the movie anyway um now you can of course take uh, some of the accessories off so if i take this off here that's well and truly stuck on there guys this can be popped on here as well as this which i'm going to put on in a second so you can put that in there you can maneuver that around as well which i think is a nice little bit of again just a little bit of extra playability that you now get with these toys right i'm going to take this off just for now because again you've got your two dowels there your two holes this is going to fit in now the only thing is i'm just wondering can you still fit i don't think you can still fit a titan master in there maybe you could if you wanted to you could sit one there to make it look like he's driving and piloting it because again there's nothing or no figure i know that's small enough to fit inside uh the little cockpit up there but yes you can do all these little gimmicks and the thing i want to reassure you as well guys is if you forget the instructions are absolutely brilliant on one side you've got all the transformation processes and then on the other side you've got all the little gimmicks all the little play features all the things that you can do with it so i think that is brilliant and again in case you forget anything it's really good that they're actually on there and they can help you and you won't forget it basically right i'm just going to move this out of the side uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to close this up like so and then what i'm going to do is show you that these they do come out the struts and they will obviously support it that's very cool the twist there a bit different to g1 but there you go you can see they will fit there absolutely no problem right so with regards to figures going in uh, i've got a deluxe smoke screen i know he's not a movie figure but he fits in absolutely fine i've tried to get two deluxes in you can't really at all um this 
will fit in there you go so that's a borderline voyager class uh, and that fits in no real issues whatsoever ironically enough if you didn't have the smokestacks on the earthrise prime it would just about fit in as well again more cab comparisons coming up in a second and the same with the g1 if you didn't have the smokestacks he's saying that yeah it would just about you'd have to just get it over that lump there again more comparisons of these coming up in a second but yeah your earth rise sort of figures there's your side swipe um in fact let's try and get some, no you can't i was gonna say you might be able to i tried to get brawn and bumblebee in but i just couldn't other figures from other toy lines jurassic park jeep fits in no problem whatsoever uh wolf cybertron definitely not too big as you can see uh some of the classics some of the chug figures they will fit in even though i know it's not the same toy line it just saves people asking in the comments what else can you fit into the back so there we go that's pretty much the trailer i've also just realized that there was one other thing that perhaps you'd like to see uh, up against and it was of course the other commander class trailer now this is bigger as in uh, thickness it's that's just a heavy duty trailer i think we forget how big the rodimus one was they're about the same length uh, but the rodimus one is a little bit bigger so just remember to get that out so there is the rodimus trailer there's a lot more weight to the rodimus trailer because of course there was a lot more going on with it right let's move all these out of the way and let's have a look as i say at the actual cab so what you can do as well is you can put the gun in the back let me see where this goes because i haven't had a go at it yet i've just seen the picture on the instructions but i don't really know where it goes I've not, i'll have another look again in the instructions i know that you can ah there you go it's in the cutout there that's the perfect size for the base of the gun and that fits there so as i said the windows look good the autobot logo looks good everything's sort of tucked away nice and neatly oh i did want to show you as well that you could i'm sure let me just say that again just in case anybody asks this is a G1 Trailbreaker. Yes, you can fit G1 cars in there as well. Because I do get asked loads of questions and I do my best to, to reply to them all and try and get actual video evidence of them doing. Right, let's go Commander Class. Let's go G1 Original. This is also great. Look, you haven't got to worry about the fists in the window, which of course, because they're all tucked away neatly in there. Right, where's my Earth Rise one gone? I need to see where that's gone because that's of course going to be the next one i've got too many primes here so there we go so there's earthrise there's commander class and there's g1 i didn't bother going with many more alternate modes just because there's so many different primes and of course with them being different toy lines they're not going to scale or they're not going to look uh, the comparisons won't really have much purpose if that's what i'm trying to say move this out of the way in fact we can do where it looks like you know where they are getting that little bit smaller each time i think the earth rise is yeah it is so there you go it's it's so much bigger as i say in hand it really is i know a lot of people were saying that obviously it definitely needed to be with the fact that obviously it is it has got that hefty little price point uh but it really really is that's the takara world smallest and that's a dr Wu. just in case you were wondering so overall again as i say with with the cab and how it looks up and against some of the other figures it is it's really really good and again there's so much there's so many things you can do with it i haven't even attached it to the actual trailer yet so i need to do that again there's so many play features guys that i want to just try and get put across to you so there's the hitch that fits on there it also i believe does go on hoffer etc as well and of course if i take this off roller it will fit into roller as well so although it wasn't in the movie it was definitely one of them at the generation one episodes there you go i think as i say though that is all there is to say about the trailer in the alternate mode we're going to come back in robot mode now posing with some of his accessories see how he handles the gun show you how you can attach his axe etc and then of course do an abundance of figure size either comparisons and of course bring some other figures out from the same toy line let's have a look at him again then in the robot mode right then back for the final time with him in his robot mode now we're going to see how he looks and fares with all of his accessories we're going to see how he looks against some other optimus prime figures and then some other toy lines and as well as loads of different figures from studio series 86 as well so you can see i've 
I say part transformed him, but that's probably being a bit too harsh. I've just not got his fist out yet, which I said is great because, of course, the fist tucked away. Nothing to worry about losing fist like we had with the G1. And it's even simpler to attach his Energon axe. It just literally fits like so. And that's how you do it. It's as simple as that. As I say, when his fist is tucked away, you can just pop that um, onto there. You can't put the blast effect because the hole is too small, but it's just as simple as that. And the fists are all tucked away. You can see there on this hinge, and I'm going to try and separate it so you can fold it out from the forearm, make sure the tabs line up, and then you can open up the fingers as and how you want it. Right, let's go with this. Pull the fingers apart just so I can show you with this blaster. And this is again where I do confess I'm not the greatest at posing figures. Um, but you can pop that there. You can see how the shoulders will spin out and in, etc. You can turn the legs around. Uh, you can also then attach this blast effect to him, like so. In fact, let's stand him up, leaning forward, facing that way a little, and then the blast effect does fit on. So it's good to keep him in the trailer, because in the trailer it will keep them straight, which obviously definitely helps things out. So if I can turn the foot there. Again, I'm not the best at dynamic posing. I'm sure you'll have to forgive me for that, but that's pretty much as good as I'm going to get with this for now, because I want to show you so many other things regarding it. But again, because you've got the five millimeter hands if you wanted to just because i've got smoke screen right next to me you can pop his gun in there which now admittedly looks tiny and way too small for him but again any five millimeter port and again you can use other blast effects with this so that will work as well so again the playability the functionality of this all is really really good let's just get these off out of the way for now i'm going to even move the trailer because what i want to do is just start to show you uh, first and foremost, we're going to have a look at Optimus Primes, and then we'll have a look at some of the toy lines, and then I'll raid my Studio Series 86 shelf from behind me just to give you, well, just to put a load of them together, to be honest. Um, I've got Rodimus as well, even though he wasn't, of course, Studio Series 86, uh, but of course, we definitely need to see how he looks compared with him and of course with galvatron even though galvatron wasn't the studio series 86 as well right everything out of the way and of course the main ones which i know we've seen a few images of these before but it's still good to see that's of course the earth rise but the netflix version um and then we've got the missing link which again it's it's no real different guys to the generation one but they are i suppose well for me anyhow they're my main three other people will be uh, of course, argue with that massively, and I'm sure in a few years' time, this one will definitely be somebody's main one. So there, we we're going to bring in Transformers 1. Then we're going to bring in the Fractured Friendships. Um, and again, this is a big figure on the side, but it's got nowhere near. Yeah, hopefully you can see as well. You can see, I'm not saying this is... The plastic looks cheap, but it just looks completely different. The whole complexity of it looks completely uh, different. Um I'm going to bring in a little core class now because I think he's great. I've got the original um, War for Cybertron. Uh, I think that's the Toys R Us one, actually, because he's got the blue on it. Oh, there's his head popped up. So many figures trying to keep them all neat and around in one area. It's really quite difficult, to be honest. Right, what other Optimus Primes have I got? Um, let's have a look. This is going to be too big, so I'm going to put him in the distance at the back. These, in fact, they're both going to be too big. But um, So that's MP44, and this was the original MP1. So nowhere near as big as them, but of course that's because he's not masterpiece scale. That's just to give you guys an idea again, because I can pretty much guarantee I will get asked it in the comments. So he's not as big as that. Nowhere near, nor would we expect him to be. And again, I know that people say the price might be too much, but it would be even more with, um, of course, if it was had that much detail as well. Right, what have we got? Did I bring in the little third party? I thought I had a new age one ready to bring in. I'll bring in some other figures in a second. Let's start to do these then. So there is Rodimus at the moment. And Rodimus, I've got his sword at the side. Let's take that off. So Rodimus at the moment is quite a bit smaller than Optimus. Yeah, he's really got to look right up to him. And hopefully you can see that there. Uh, let's have a look at some other figures. I'm just going to do some random other figures now, just again for some height, because again, people will ask, just because these are here. Uh, so there is a Gigawatt. There's a G1 Dino King. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, bring in some third party. There's a third party. 
uh, Kill Bison. There's my favourite version at the moment of the Siege version for Megatron. So once again, much, much bigger than him. Uh, I've got some more Optimuses here just at the side. This, of course, is the Reactivate one, which is a brilliant brilliant optimist as well to be honest uh seekers are, it's going to be interesting to see if they get a new uh update as well to see well obviously we've had the star screen we're just waiting for i suppose the inevitable redecos that is studio series one megatron which of course it's only a deluxe guys that's why it's so small um i've got some more figures here just again random different toy lines so again first war for cybertron etc I think what I'm going to do now, though, is start to bring in some of the more figures, even though it's not a Studio Series 86 version. It, that is, of course, your Earth Mode Hound. And I'm going to start to bring in loads more from 86 right now. So some of these aren't Studio Series 86 yet, but it's going to be interesting to see, of course, what we get with them. Because the Kingdom Galvatron mould, as you can see, is actually bigger. It's bigger. That's just surprised me. You can tell, obviously. So what they're going to do with him, I don't know. They don't need to do too much looking at that. So Kingdom Galvatron is bigger than Commander Prime. There is uh, Cyclonus, of course, again from Kingdom, not the toy one. He's quite big as well, to be honest. These figures have just completely surprised me. I've just pulled them off the shelf and they're way bigger uh, than I remember them. But they do look good together. And again, I can't wait to see what we do get with them because they're two brilliant brilliant molds right let's go with perceptor let's go with some of the big guys now as well then so magnus there is ultra magnus let's give him a quick side by side again because i know that people are going to want to see that <laughs> magnus is literally twice as wide as him and indeed quite a bit taller than him which you can see there so i'm only going to bring one of the dinobots in obviously we've got them all uh, but I haven't got much space to work with. So again, he's going to be looking up to Grimlock, which is exactly as he did in the cartoon. So that's not off at all. That's pretty good. Let's bring Perceptor in there. Let's bring little Bumblebee. Very little Bumblebee, as you can see now, in there. I've already done Rodimus. I'm just going to very quickly pop him in there. I know he's not 86. I'm just going to take him away again, just to give you an idea, I suppose, of leaders with this particular uh, toy lines. Let's move him out of the way. So we've got rid of Rodimus. So we'll bring in hot rod for obvious reasons blaster is going to fit just at the side like so iron hide will fit there and i've got a few small ones left but the problem i've left with myself now is because of how they've moved the camera like that we'll bring in there we go in his little exo suit there there we go i think that's pretty much um all the ones i can bring in again while i've still got him guys if you want me to do any more comparisons do let me know. I've only got him for a couple more days, but I have to send him back. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. hope I've done you some justice. And I just want to reassure people that in hand, he is at every bit as good as we all thought that he would be. So, yeah, great, great figure. There he is. Commander class. Optimus Prime from Studio Series 86. Thanks for watching. Take care.